What's up, everybody? Um, my name's Jonathan. Most of you guys know me for tattoo work and, and uh, art online here. Well, for years I've always had a hobby on the side that I really enjoy. And uh, lately I've had a bunch of people requesting maybe a YouTube channel. Um, so here we go. We're going to call it Hand Built Hooligan. Um, I'm a member of a national car club called the Hooligans. And uh, they're a pretty big club. We are very proud about what we do with them. And uh, yeah, here's a little bit. I'm just going to take you on a little shop tour. Um, show you what we're doing right now. Um, I currently split a split a shop with a friend of mine, George, who's also in the club. And, uh, you know, we, we make lots of cool shit here. So basically... We'll just go on a little tour here. I'll uh, show you what I'm doing and uh, yeah, I'll have more videos up all the time. You know, progress as we go. Things like this are always, uh, um, you know, a process. I've been working on this car probably for about a year and a half. So I'm going to flip this camera around and I'll take you on a little garage tour here. So here's our place. Pretty nice space, not too big, not too small. A little bit of everything in here. It's George's rat rod project he's working on. And then over here I have mine. Uh, it's a 1950 Chevy Styline Deluxe. Um, there's not much stock left about it. I started driving it after I bought it. it had the original 216 in it, three speed. It was a fun car, but super unreliable, like, you know, a seven-year-old car is. And eventually, we blew the motor up in it and decided to uh, go a different route. So, so far, uh, we'll start in the back here. I started by uh, gutting out the old suspension, rear axle, um, all that fun stuff back there. And uh, we swapped over to... A newer rear end, open di open diff, um, or open drive wet line. Sorry, um, you know rear airbags, just bag over axle. I still got to throw a shock in there, um, do a bunch of, of floor work and welding and whatnot. Sheet metal all needs to be done or whatever I decide. Right now we're just rolling with the stock tank. I just flipped it around and made some new mounts for it. It still needs some straps and. You know, super easy to get to, fuel pump, fuel filter uh, for the motor swap. I don't know if I can get back far enough here, but the ass end of it has a, a 55 Chevy bumper from the front of a 55. I kind of made it fit the back. A lot more stuff we're doing back here. I'm going to do custom taillights and, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, if any of you are, are familiar with the, the style line, you know that if you bag it at all, the floor needs to be cut up and uh, to allow room for everything. So basically, I had some rust and a couple things, so I decided just to rebuild the whole rear, rear floor. Um, my good buddy Jake helped me and we uh, raised that floor up and gave me enough room so I can run mufflers and have plenty of room up underneath there. Trying to keep all the stock gauges. Went with the 23 inch low car shifter. Building a custom center console there. Um, engine swap. We did uh, a newer 5.3 LS. And uh, it's got the 480 LE transmission. And I'll give it just a little start here. There's no exhaust on it or O2 sensors. So she might run a little rough. <laughs> She's, she's a little rowdy right now until we tame her down with some exhaust and whatnot. Lots of custom body work coming on this car. Um, I'm going to radius the front fender. I kind of sketched it out there. And the back fender, I'm going to totally opening. The back fender opening, we're going to totally re, uh, reshape so it's a little cooler. All the paint and everything on this thing was just kind of messing around with uh, some rattle cans in the driveway. I did a little lace on the roof and whatever was laying around kind of got sprayed on it um i have a set of suicide door hinges that are going in there um again custom taillights 
in the front of the car I started uh, doing a little customization up here as well um, I French the stock headlights with the stock rings I really like that look it's just real smooth um, I took the front bumper off there and uh, the front stock grill I used the top of the stock grill and uh, custom made the bottom piece there um, and threw some Dagmars on it so that's a work in progress I don't know what I'm going to stick in there. Kicking around a couple of different ideas. Um, I built this uh, this light bar here to kind of float in there. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't quite match the aesthetic with the Dagmars. It's just a little too busy. So um, we'll keep going. We'll figure out what's going to go in there for now. Um, the Dagmars came off of 55 Buick. They originally had a piece that wrapped around out of this hole around the side of the car. Um, it didn't quite fit the radius and the aesthetic of what I was going for, so I cut it up and got rid of those, and I'm actually using the piece, the wraparound pieces from the Dagmars to build a split bumper, um, and then that's what this came from, too. These pieces are just end pieces that came off of that, and then uh, there's a piece of that split bumper on this side, that piece of that Dagmar we're using to make a split bumper on that side, so... You know, you kind of use what you got, and I, no one ever taught me how to do this stuff. I'm just kind of one of those figure it out on your own um, guys. The club has a bunch of great knowledge and members, and we all kind of help each other and and uh, learn how to do stuff. George, my uh, shop partner here, is a bank of knowledge. He's been been uh, you know in the the machine industry and and, the, and working with metal all of his life so he's got lots of knowledge but yeah so that's that um let me see here if i can sit this down for a second and try and pop the hood open and show you what's going on underneath there So like I said, we did uh, a 5.3 LS, 2006, swap in there, use some Walton motor mounts. That battery's gonna end up in the trunk when we're all said and done. Um, intake came from um, a 2006 Silverado kit that I kinda cut up and chopped the filter up and made it work. Wiring's about half done. Still got a wire front headlights, grill, fan tail lights all that stuff and then i gotta do uh all my brake lines need run and i think i'm gonna build a custom cover out of some sheet metal and just cover up all that nonsense with a nice cover um you know something cool but uh yeah that's about it for now got a long way to go but uh you know a little bit at a time the front end's not bagged at all, just the rear end. So I'm trying to go for that tail dragger look, but I'm sure eventually we'll bag the rear end too. It's been a long process. You know, like I said, it's about a year and a half worth of work in there. Um, I've been in a, a, a real garage atmosphere, atmosphere here just for the last four or five, four months maybe. Um, so a lot of the work's really gotten done in the last four months. Um, before that, I was just working at home, so working at home is a little harder. My garage isn't as big, and, you know, having the space and the right tools really helps a lot. So in the future, I definitely will make more videos as we do things. I want to, you know, finish building that custom grill, do some more uh, body work to it. We're, you know, custom taillights. I think I'm going with some 61 Biscayne lights that I picked up. Um, you know, just kind of go with the flow. Like I said, we're going to do a total custom opening in the rear fender well um i'm gonna model it after the early impala um biscayne kind of swoop to the to the rear wheel well opening but i'm gonna do it a little smaller a little closer to the ground so um you know stay tuned like subscribe all that good stuff i'll post videos as often as i can um, you know with my tattoo work and the other art stuff I do I don't get a lot of time to get down here But when I do, you know, I spend time and, and get things done. So um, Yeah, like I said people ask for it. So let's do a YouTube video have some fun build some cool stuff and you know Give you guys all something to look at so for now, like I said Be sure to subscribe 
um, Hand Built Hooligan on YouTube. Click the link, subscribe, enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Like I said, I'm not a professional. This is what I do for fun. It's a total hobby, and I just kind of do it. Um, you know, if you can suggest a better way of doing things, definitely let me know. So I appreciate all of you uh, throughout the years supporting me in everything I do. It's a pretty rad feeling to have so much social media support. And, um, you know, look forward to the future. Have a good day, everybody.